Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I do apologize that my voice sounds a little different. It's because I'm trying to wake up a little bit. And, uh, but, um, so yesterday, uh, Kobe Bryant and his, uh, daughter Gianna Bryant, hopefully I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I, I really do apologize. I'm not, I'm not doing that on purpose, but, you know, yesterday, Kobe and his daughter were killed in a helicopter crash near Calabasas, as far as I heard, and they said that, um, there were, there were nine people killed in that helicopter crash, which is pretty devastating to hear about. You know, I, I feel for those people, I feel for Kobe, I feel for his daughter, and I feel for everybody that's going through this. It is, it's truly sad. But, you know, this is something I wanna, I wanna bring up. You know, considering what happened yesterday, cause you know, Kobe's wife lost two people yesterday, both her husband and her daughter. That that's pretty tragic right there. So I want to say this right now. Take the time to be thankful for what you have and what you don't. Because tomorrow isn't always promised and you never know what can happen. Know it you never know when you could lose somebody in your family from a tragedy rather it be like a serious car crash or somebody having a heart attack or just I don't know anything in particular that can that can kill someone you know I've been down that road before. I've had one friend commit suicide back in 2013, and I had another friend killed in a car crash in Virginia about, it was March of 2017, and that was, that was tragic, really tragic, and I still, I still think about them from time to time. It is... It's a sad situation. That and I lost, I lost my papa about, it was a little over a year and a half ago, and that that's tough as well. Very tough. So, you know, I've said this many times in the video, but, you know, just be thankful for what you have, what you don't. Be there for your family as much as you can, and, you know, don't pay attention to a bunch of the things that you don't have, because, you know, those things, they just might not be that important. The things that you do have, they might not be that important to you. Or they might not feel important, but think again, because you never know when tragedy can strike. Rather, if it would take less than a second to happen, or it can take a couple days to happen. You know, it's it's a it's a sad world we live in, but. You know, we just, we got to learn to deal with things. That's all there is to it. So, right now, I am, I am still praying for Kobe Bryant. I'm praying for his daughter. I'm praying for all his friends and family and all the NBA stars that are struggling through this. You know, it, it you know. It devastated me when I heard about the situation, you know, I'm still, I'm still in 
shock to hear about it, you know, it, it's, you know, it's not a good thing to go through. So, like I said, be there for your family, be there for your friends, you know, for those of you who watch this, you know, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and if you don't like this video, then whatever, but, you know, I just wanted to, you know, make a point. And also, feel for the other people who were killed in that helicopter crash, too. Because, I mean, I don't hear a whole lot about them being remembered as well. But I'm sure they all had families, too. So, you know, please take the time to remember them as well. Because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are people going through a hard time with them as well. And it's, you know... It's a sad situation for a lot of people. But that's all I gotta say, you know. Thanks for watching.